What's up, America? This is old Jim Bob from Jim Bob's Commentary Channel. Coming to you from Sweet Lips, Tennessee. That's right, we're on a road trip tour, and that's an actual town, and that's where our secret location is today. Well, I was uh, studying the election results of Trump and uh, Clinton, and, uh, you know, Trump, he won, of course, so he's our president-elect, and so we've got to get behind him now and try to help him do things good for America. I sure hope he does half the stuff he says he does. Hey, but we'll see. Anyways, uh, it got me to thinking. I'm living, you know, in a rural area. I get on the road a lot and drive them back and forth and uh, drive up and down the same roads about 20 miles to the nearest town. And so, uh, before the election, I was noticing uh, how many Trump signs there were. Uh, where I'm at is definitely Trump country. And there was quite a few Trump signs out on the side of the road, up and down. And like I said, I ride up and down these roads, the same roads, all the time. So I kind of get this, like, a mental picture of how many signs there were. Well, uh, election comes and goes, and no Trump wins the election. And so the other day I was riding up and down the road, and I thought, well, you know, something's funny here. It seems to me like there's more Trump signs out there now, after the election, than there was before the election. And uh, so I asked some other people, and they said they thought the same thing, that uh, there was more uh, signs after the election than there were before the election. So that can only mean one thing to me, you know, Jim Bob, you know, contemplating and thinking things out, is that uh, we have some... Uh, uh, people that are uh, uh, what you call closet voters, uh, they don't uh, tell you who they're going to vote for until after the winner wins, and then if they voted for the winner, then they put their son out on the road and say, well, yeah, I voted for Trump. That's the one I voted for. He's the winner. I always got to vote for the winner. That's pretty. But if there's a loser, then they don't get to put their son out or something like that. Now, just a speculation. I'm not sure that I'm right or anything like that. But that's just sort of what I was thinking about. So you tell me, send me some emails, and tell me whether you think the same thing, that when somebody gets elected, suddenly there are more signs out on the road than there were before the election. So let me know, and uh, this is a follow-up. Jim Bob is on a road tour, and I'm going to be uh, talking to you from different towns in America, actual towns. Uh, like I said, I'm in Sweet Lips, Tennessee today, in my secret location, and um uh, so we'll find these different towns, and we'll be doing our commentaries from those towns. So y'all have a blessed day, and uh, Jim Bob is out.